Welcome back. This is Wisconsin Shoe Guy. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about suede. Now, most suede comes from Charles F. Stead and is basically uh, part of their, why don't I have the, their, their suede leathers. I suppose I just go here and click suede, the basics, right? Talk about the fiber structure of the suede, what's what's there, how much it shrinks, how they color it. But let's go to the basics, which is their leathers. And this, classic suede. Now, they have their rough out gum oil, but then super buck pebble. Well, what does super buck pebble look like? Now we can look at it here, or I can show you here. It's a very cool, different kind of suede. It's very soft to the touch, but it has this really cool texture that goes all the way around. And has that just depth of texture to it that makes it interesting. Now this is a pair by Macariello, um, but other makers use it as well. Now, they have Lily White, which I don't have any. And they have Rapello gum oil, which I'm not sure about. Then they have this Eco Buck, which I don't think most of my shoes are, would be made out of. But then they have this Bronto suede. Now, I think this Bronto suede is going to be, if we go into it a little bit, this is where kind of a low pile, um, really kind of a single color, not like a depth of color. If we look at these, you can kind of see the different colors as it stays here. And this is a very, very high-end suede. This is a reverse suede. This is also a Macariello. Just a very interesting look to it. Now, all of these suedes are not Macariello, um, but they are all stead. So we have Odessa Bag Swig, which of course we don't need, and then we have Janus Calf. Now Janus, and this is a pair by Viberg in Janus, and you can see the just absolute depth. If you compare this, to this pair here, it's a very similar color. You see this one's a lot, has a darker to it, and that's because it's just a, a deeper shade, and you can see the big difference when you rub on it. It has just that longer pile to it. Now, uh, Rapello is, is what this is, okay? And that's a, a suede that's pre-treated to make it so that it has less um, uh, um, uh, less likelihood of getting water stains and things like that. Now, there's another one called Janus Butts, and I think that's what this is. It's a very different one. It's hard to tell, and you, know, you can't just look at them and, and know that. Now, this is a Corthe, right? And then you have Superbuck. And I believe, based on this look, the depth and color variation in it, that that is this. Now this is now on Edmonds. McNeil and Superbuck. Okay. Now, um, this could also be Superbuck. It's hard to tell, but um, this is a, uh, a George Cleverly. So different, uh, different look, but I think this is actually Janus. It matches this. Okay, and there's two types of Janus. There's the Janus butts, and there's the Janus. So this, um, which has a very similar look to this, is probably one type, and then the other is probably this. And as I said before, I'm not really sure about the Bronto, 
but this could be Bronto or that could be Janice because these two are very, very similar. So now you'll notice that I missed one here and that's this. Now the reason this is, if you look at it, it has a very high pile, it has a very distinctive denim color to it. Now this is a St. Crispin loafer, so um, it's also very, very high end. But why is this different? The difference is this is not calf. This is goat. And goat um, suede, just like goat skin, is gonna be a little bit different and have a little bit of a different look to it. So as you're looking at kudu and goat and um, hippo and elephant and different suedes that, that are out there, uh, there will be things to, uh, to understand as you go through it. So just a thought on suedes. Is it easy to tell? Am I totally wrong? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.